Dear God of floral bed sheets and wilting bodies, I'm afraid I may be haunted. I've read enough ghost stories to know when I have become a part of one. There is someone lying at the bottom of the stairs, a drunk mother whispering bedtime stories into a bag of my baby teeth. I never get much sleep anymore. Tell me, Lord, what do I offer to this depression in exchange for rest? Do you ask for an early funeral? Must I lay every sad bone at your feet for you to grant removal of the heavy crown that is my family's mental illness? How many times do I have to pray to the God of, I just want to go home, while he buries us in a disease that steals the help me from our throats? I cry hot tears into his shirt and he doesn't say a single word. We have all become our own hospital beds, each of our small voices a broken call button. Nobody checks in on us. Three of my relatives died within the same month, two of them by way of heartbreak in my family. If you were going to leave this world, you'd do it when there was so much love in you that it hurts to keep living and everything hurts. I am swollen. I am leaking into all of the dark corners, letting every ghost kiss my knuckles until my skin is raw. This sick blood is the rewrapped Christmas gift that nobody wants. God, please take it from me. Take it away, it is the only thing I can taste. The burnt metal of every suicide attempt stains my teeth, drips from the corners of my mouth. This is the loudest thing I have inherited. Its hot breath is a cloud around my head when I am trying to sleep, saying things like, I know there are empty rooms in your heart waiting to be torn down, but you let the sadness in, you dumb girl. Don't blame me. You let it follow you home. Look at this prison of a bed I have cocooned myself in. Do I not pray to the sun? Do I not beg every day for the light to replace my skin? I have almost wow. completely become a ghost. Enough so that my parents hardly speak to me anymore. In my mind, it's because they are always asleep when I am home. In my mind, we are a happy family. My great-grandmother does not ask God's forgiveness for my birth. Let's four generations of prayer soak into the mattress and lights it on fire, says, you need not be cold, child. The Lord told me this was the way back home. And when she lies down, the whole room becomes her casket and I am drowning in it with her, a widening river of my family's disease carrying us over the waterfall that is my depression. If I jump out now, I could survive. If I jump out now, I could survive, but I don't know if I want to. Dear God of new bruises, God of antidepressants for breakfast, God of broken necks and still beating hearts. I cannot bring myself to shout, please God of whatever life is left inside of me. Wow. You once said that there were sacrifices greater than death. Tell me, is choosing to live one of them? Wow. Make some noise for the poet, it's us and gentlemen!